e to the we're going to solve this equation. We have e to the 2x minus e to the x minus 6 equal to 0. So here we have an exponential equation with a base e. To solve it, you're going to solve it in quadratic form. So you're going to try to factor it here. Now, if you recall, e to the x times e to the x gives me e to the 2x. Because here, what, what we have here is e to the x plus x. So we have the product with the same base. You have to add the powers. So that gives me e to the x plus x, that's 2x. So to factor this, e to the 2x, that means that you have to have e to the x here and e to the x here. And here we have 6. So remember, 6 is 3 times 2. And the difference is 1. That's what we have here. Well, the difference is negative 1, which means one of them must be negative. Since the middle term is negative, uh, the larger value would have to be negative. So you have negative 3 plus 2. Okay, so you can check it if you want. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. That's what you have. And to check the middle term, you can multiply this and multiply this and add them together. Or you can uh, do FOIL again. You should be able to get this back. So that's what we have. Um, uh, e to the x minus 3 times e to x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, now solving this, using, uh, you have a product that's equal to zero. That means either this is zero or this is zero. So you have e to the x minus three equal to zero or e to the x plus two equal to zero. Oops, let me get this here. Okay. And here, what do you get? It's you add three on both sides. You get e to the x, this cancels out equal to three. Now, solving this, what I have to do is I need to take down the variable. So remember, to take down the variable, you have to take ln on both sides. So if you take ln here and ln here, we get x ln e equal to ln 3. Now, if you recall, ln e is equal to 1. That means this goes away. This is just 1. So x times 1 is simply x equal to ln 3. This is the exact solution. If you want to if you want to find the approximate solution, you can plug it in in the in the calculator. Now let's try to solve this. e to the 2 e to the x let me write it again e to the x plus 2 equal to 0. Now we have to subtract 2 on both sides and we this cancels and we get e to the x equal to negative 2. Now, you have to reject the solution because e to the x cannot be negative. So this, you have to reject this. If you recall, the graph of f of x equal to e to the x is this. When x is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so this is 1. e to the x is never negative, so you have to reject the solution. The only solution we have is x equal to ln 3. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.